Okay, so um, today we've got um, our globes um, set up on the stand here. Um, it spans into the candle, the GLS, um, and your GU95. Um, so this, these are all connected through to your Google speaker. So as an example, hey Google, turn on ticker. And there it goes. Off we go. So <laughs> we've got, got the lights have just come through. Yeah. So you can actually call it anything you want when you do um, pair the products onto the speaker. So today we've obviously called it a ticker, but yep. you can you can call it basically anything you want and with the recognition. And can you dim the lights as well through through the app as well? Uh, you uh, you can. Um, we haven't actually got that set up at the moment, but you can on these particular globes. Um, you can do it by percentage: twenty five percent, fifty percent. Um, and obviously turning them on and off. Um, the globes also span into your warm white, cool white um, and daylight um, and the centre one is your RGB so it's actually got the warm white in there as well um, as well as a lot of the other colours. Yep. You've obviously got a number of products here, tell mm -hmm. us how you get products into the mainstream supermarkets and, and outlets out there. Um, interesting question, well uh, when it comes to this uh, segment uh, in particular with globes um, in most recent times it's actually been a, a task because the overall value of the category has been decreasing over the last four or five years. Um, a percentage roughly of the category is now pushing about 65% um, percent of LED in the category. So it was sort of a, a means of trying to lift that value back up um, and have that continued growth. Um, so look, the timing's been, been, been great, but um, definitely with the, uh, the smart products, they are at a, a more premium um, sale price to the rest of the, the standard globes. Um, it wasn't too long ago when you know, LED uh, globes used to sell for you know, 20 and $30. So again, economy of scales, I mean, you can get um, two pack globes now for you know, 10, $15. Um, so these have sort of um, taken on that void um, in the category. Um, and with the continued growth that Smart Home has been having in the most recent times, we're hoping that it is going to continue uh, for a number of years to come. And to give us a range of your price point, obviously you mentioned a number mm -hmm. of chains before that mm -hmm. you can purchase the product from. Mm -hmm. How, what does the price point start from mm -hmm. and what does it go to in terms of product examples as well? So as an example, you can start off with, uh, with standard on-off globes, um, selling anywhere from 15 to $20 uh, for a one pack. Um, so I we're think talking ceilings and lampshades and things that's like correct. that? That's correct, that's correct, yep. Um, in your standard GLSs, yes. um, and I think in the category the most expensive product out there at the moment is roughly at about 65 70 odd dollars. So we, we've tried to tailor it in terms of the everyday products and sellability um, and what we believed would work in this smart home um, uh, level as well. So that's the, that's the way that we've gone. And what could I pick up for sixty-five dollars? What type of smart product? Uh, at the moment, there's a smart diffuser out in uh, in Kmart, uh, which is an RGB um, with obviously your aroma oil uh, things in that. So um, that, like I said, that's probably the most expensive product at the moment. But it is going to be spanning um, into things like pet feeders um, as well, automatic pet feeders, um, which have got also cameras. So if you do go away, you can check up on your on your pet and. You can uh, you can regulate the um, the, the dosage and yep. so does that throw the do uh, dog the bone? Uh, you yep. can you can it doesn't do that, but I'm sure one day it will. <laughs> um, how do you keep your product so in terms of cost effective for the consumer? There's other products out there in terms mm -hmm. of competitive products mm -hmm. that are obviously much more expensive than the, the Mirabella Junior product. Mm -hmm. How can you keep your products and prices so low? I, I think it comes down to, look, like I mentioned, we've been in the market for, for so long and we've got some key players, um, even in relation to our, our, our factories, um, our own um, tech guys in the office as well, where we communicate directly with the factory tech guys. Um, and we understand the componentry side of things as well. So um, there's various components that obviously make up these products. Yep. Um, so we've got the window sensor, we've got the uh, motion sensor on yep. screen at the moment. Yep. That's, that's a great product. So as an example for that one there, um, it's, it's a sensor, so you can actually set it up as an example in your garage. So when you come in at night, you, you can actually program it where you can turn on your garage lights, your hallway lights, and maybe your kitchen lights. Um, so it's, it, like I said, it's, it's very easy to use, very easy to pair. Um, that's the IR. Um, so as an example, any remote control that's in the home, which is um, with IR, you can actually pair it to, to that product. Um, 
An example of that is if you've got an air conditioner and you're at work, it's a hot day, you can actually function your air conditioner from your phone. So by the time you get home, you've got a, you've got a cool house. Yeah, and I assume the product can sync with, with other apps as well. Like obviously you've got your Alexa and your Google before, mm -hmm. but I assume there's third-party apps out there that allows you to trigger how far away you are from your house. And if you are within a particular, or if you arrive home, for example, mm -hmm. then it does turn on your air conditioner mm -hmm. or your TV or mm -hmm. your light. Mm -hmm. Uh, you can actually be on the other side of the earth um, for to be able to use our product. So you don't actually have, you don't have to be in the vicinity of the of the home. Um, so it does pick up your Wi-Fi, but you can also connect it um, through a very very long distance. And on the the smart um, IR mm -hmm. uh, for the TV, mm -hmm. what what examples could you tell you know, the Google or the Alexas um, of the world? A function. What what could they be? So you could tell it to turn on the TV, turn off the TV. Um, go to a, a particular channel. Um, your air conditioner, you can tell it to, to set it to a particular um, uh, temperature. Um, you can tell it to go onto heat, onto cool, um, onto dry if it's a humid day. Um, the, the possibilities are, are endless. So if, if you had a TV at home and your remote wasn't working mm -hmm. and you were deciding to throw the TV out because your you remote wasn't working? No, don't throw the TV out. You just buy one of those IRs and yeah, away you go. Okay, and you can just start, just connect your Alexa or you use your app off your phone. And Correct. That's exactly right, yep. And then obviously through your Google Home or, yeah, or Alexa like you mentioned. Yep. yep. Um, in terms of obviously the connection between products, um, as an example, could I say um, I've just arrived home, I want to turn on a globe mm -hmm. and then I want to turn my upstairs light on one minute later mm -hmm. and then I want to turn that off and then I want to go downstairs again and put mm -hmm. the kettle on. Mm -hmm. Can all the products sync simultaneously through the app? Uh, they do, yes. So you can, uh, you can do one at a time or you can actually pair the products as well so that when you do give it that prompt, um, all of those three or four do actually function at the same time. Yeah. So we've got the pro some more products on screen now. So mm -hmm. these are the ones you can find in your Woolworths and your Kmart's. Yeah, that's that's Coles. across the board. That one there. That's your uh, your standard uh, globe with your on-off uh, function, um, and that's your RGB um, with your warm white on there as well. So we had the app so. before showing the, the, the circle of colours. That's correct. the globe that you need to purchase. That's so correct, yeah. don't walk into one of the outlets and buy the cool white. No. And that's expect right. it to change colour. But uh, as I mentioned with uh, with the OnPack um, artwork, it's it's fairly um, clear in terms of which item you're actually buying as well. And some products, do they are they packaged up in boxes or are they all see through? What's the type uh, of packaging? It, it depends on the items. Um, uh, some key accounts obviously would like blister um, packs where you can see the products. Others um, prefer. Um, uh, color boxes um, as well. So it sort of depends on the account, but also the product um, as well. Um, as an example, with, uh, with our power board, it's, it's one of the products that the consumer does want to actually see. So we actually put that in a blister. We're now heading the outdoors. So mm -hmm. we'll explain what's on screen at the moment. Uh, so that's the actual diffuser. Um, so it's color changing. Um, we've actually got a selection of garden lights um, as well, which I believe they're in uh, Cayman at the moment. Um, and you can actually connect those. So there's an example, three or four in a pack. Um, you can actually uh, connect um, a couple of different um, packs together. And we're talking, again, from the phone, again, colour changing on the screen. I can see the packaging there. Yep. Pretty, pretty again, mm -hmm. visible to yep. the consumer correct. that they can change colour. Yep. Look, that was one of the keys yeah, with our artwork to have it in the actual environment itself. It just makes that a little bit more clearer to the consumer. Yep. And they're yep. waterproof, I assume? They are, yep. 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 And what do I need to set up a garden light at home? What is a battery operated solar? No, it, they're, they're actually all uh, plug-in. Um, so the adapter actually communicates with your uh, your modem um, router. So it's very similar to setting up uh, a globe. You'd set up um, a lot of the other products. So as an example, the garden lights, it'll be exactly the same um, way that you'd set those products up. So you might say at 8 p.m. Um, mm -hmm. or 6 p.m. in winter, mm -hmm. um, you can turn your lights on through an automation? Right. Correct. That's exactly right. Or you can also schedule it. So uh, once daylight saving comes, you can actually schedule it to change the times on your phone and you, look, you can lock those in and not go back to it for, for another eight and months. And the window sensor? Tell us a bit more about how that uh, works. The window door sensor, um, well, basically, if anyone opens, again, security, opens your door or a window, um, it actually triggers a prompt on your phone as a notification. Um, and it also records the time that it was open and also the time that it was closed um, as well. Could I set a trigger and say, Alexa, 
to say if the window sensor goes off mm. to make my light globe on my front porch turn red yep. and flash Correct. like, a, like yep. a police car? Or well, whatever. I don't know about flashing, but you can actually prompt it to, um, to, to turn to, on. Yeah. Okay. Yep. What are the biggest challenges now that the industry obviously, it's, it's going to be very competitive. Mm -hmm. um, people are seeing the demands of people flooding to these type of mm -hmm. products. Mm -hmm. What are you going to see the biggest challenges when there's going to be five or six, or if not more, mm -hmm. businesses come into the market? Oh, look, I think it's already happening at the moment, but um, I suppose for Mirabella Genio, it was one of these things where we actually got in early um, into the market. Um, and like I mentioned, it was you know a couple of years in the making. Uh, one thing that we obviously do pride ourselves on is our quality of, of product, which the everyday consumer does recognise. Um, and also just with the, the breadth of uh, product um, as well and the everyday value, I think that we're, we're continuing to have some, some wins in that, in that segment as well. Yep.